Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 3rd of January 2024. I hope you are keeping well. This is New York Times hard level Sudoku Puzzle. And this is a very rare thing. This is a take three. Yes, you heard me right. A take three because I have messed it up twice. Now this is unusual. Uh, now I do mess up the games from time to time because I, you know, get the pencil marks wrong, etc, etc. And I have no idea what went wrong twice here. Twice. Um, it's very strange. But um, it did go wrong twice. I thought I'd uh, made the right choices, but clearly I had not. Um, so I shall try it again and uh, hope that it works this time. So uh, I've played it, so I already understand the grid quite a bit. So um, I might be the first part might be a bit speedy, um, but let's hope I get it right. It's so strange to get it wrong twice. Seven's blocked down here like this. I'm not going to bother with uh, any introduction. I am going to start putting in pencil marks immediately because I definitely can't play this game without them. I can't even play it with them. Sevens are there. Uh, what else do we know? Uh, we have one seven and nine in those squares, right? Like this. This is one, seven, and nine. So that's going to be one and nine because we've got the sevens there already in those squares. So now two blocks up here, that puts two in this square and eight in this square here. And it will give us a pair of twos up there. And we also know that we have eights across there. Uh, now the other thing about the two is it blocks all of these squares here and we have two blocking this square so we'll have a pair of twos there and twos block across here so this is two there uh, our one blocks up here so we have one in those squares which will give us a pair of ones down here and we have one four and eight blocking up here and one four and eight blocking across here so these squares can only be one four and eight now we've got the eight blocking down there so that's a pair of eights and then we'll be left with one and four in those squares there right now we have five blocking up there and five across here so that must be a pair of fives which will put a fair pair of fives up there We've got five somewhere up there. And we have threes blocking across here like this, which puts threes into those squares. We have two blocking across here, so that has to be a pair of twos there. And we have six blocking across here, so six is in those squares. Hopefully that's okay. Now, back on this side, we are looking for twos. Should I go? Oh, I should go ahead and finish the pairs off first, shouldn't I? Let's do that. Sorry. Um, jumping ahead of myself here. A pair of threes down there. Four blocking up there puts fours into those squares and fours here. Four blocks across like that, so we have a pair of fours there, and fours must be in those squares. Fives are there. Now 
nine blocks up there and across there so that's a pair of nines there uh, and then nine blocking back here and across there gives us nines there which will give me a pair of nines in these squares the nines are the things that m messed it up for me before I don't know how I know how I messed it up but nine blocks down here so nine is in one of those squares which means that this can't be nine this is nine I don't know how I messed up the nines before but I definitely did Uh, any more pairs available? Okay, now, the next thing that we have to look for is 298 blocking down there and 298 blocking across here. Like I said, this is I saw this before, right, on the first time around. 298 down, 298 across. These squares comprise 29 or 8, 289, right there. And so these squares are 4 five and six so the fives are in those squares and the six blocks here so six is those squares there now I'm gonna do this block oh no I'm gonna show you something another thing that I found uh, the other thing that I found was seven and eight blocking these squares seven and eight blocking down here and seven and eight blocking this square so in this row this square and this square is a pair of seven and eight put that in there now I'm gonna come down and uh, look at this block in the corner be for a, a reason well I mean I messed it up before but connected with this block up here but I'll talk about that in a minute let's do this one first and then maybe I can remove stuff down here so one two three four five six do we know anything about six in this block I don't think we do so we put in sixes there not this square this is seven or eight only now sevens what do we know seven blocks down there seven blocks across there so seven possible in those squares right uh, what do we know about eight eight blocks down here and eight blocks across there so eight available in those squares and then what do we know about nine nine blocks down here and so nine is in those squares there now something good is going to happen in a moment i think when i come back and look at this block up here i hope this is right so one two three four what do we know about fives nothing and what do we know about sixes? Nothing. So five and six go there. And I think that's everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now what I think I had before, but this is where it went slightly wrong, or seemed to go wrong, is we have one, five, six, seven. Now I've got to check carefully because that's what I thought last time, but it didn't seem to work. Right, one, five, six, seven. That is correct. So we've got one, five, six, seven down there. So this six is not true. I can remove it and we remove five six seven and we're left with a nine that's going to be a nine so that should be nine there and that should be nine there and this should be a four and let's get rid of our candidate uh, nine there let's hope I've done it right this time now two blocking across here means that that will be a two and that's going to put a pair of twos up there now back to this block which is complete uh, is there anything else that we can do here now so ones uh, no but the one blocking th oh I know what I've got to do get rid of that nine one blocking this square here does put one into a pair up there now back down here one what else do we know twos uh, that looks to be correct 
threes, I think that's still okay. Fours are in five. Okay. Uh, this is the only five. Oh, no, no, five there or there, sorry. Maybe that's a mistake. I made before sixes. Do we know anything? No. Okay. Now we've got the nine here, so these nines have to be removed, don't they? Okay, and we're left with a pair of two eight there, which looks to be okay. Right, now if this is three six, and this we know this was seven or eight, this has to be three or six, and clearly it can't be six, so it's got to be a three. And that, when the threes go up here and up here and across there, will give me a pair of threes in those squares. Uh, missing digits down here are six, I think. So when we put the six in, now we can remove the sixes from there. Oh, now I've put this three in. We know this is a six, actually, don't we? And so that has to be a one. And let's remove our candidate one there. And we will have a pair of ones here. Are we looking okay? I think we are. Uh, this is the only position for a three in this block. Five's blocking across here, so this must be our five then. And we'll get rid of the fives up there. Six, the six has got to go, and this is going to be a four now. This will be a five. Let's get rid of the six before I forget. I don't want to mess it up again. Now we've got a pair of two and eight, so that is going to be our seven. And our eight will be in this square here, which makes that digit an eight, and this not an eight. Uh, so we got a unique rectangle here, two eight, and that's going to be a nine then, isn't it? So this is a one, and we remove the ones there, and we end up with a pair of seven and nine there. That looks to be right. This can't be nine. Uh, we've now got a pair of two and eight. We've got five there, so this is a six. So let's get rid of the sixes up there. And let's get rid of the sixes over here, which means this is a three and this is a five. Seem to be on track this time. Is this a two? I think it is. This block is complete, isn't it? Just making sure I've completed that block before. That's a six. Two, that's got to be an eight. This is a four, right? So a one in that square, eight in that square, and the last digit here is a three. So that's a three there, and this is not a three. Oh, three F. I, I don't think I got as far as a completed digit last time, so that's I'm definitely doing better the third time around. <laughs> really a miserable game for me, though. This is a six, isn't it? And the sixes blocking up there, we'll put a pair of sixes up there. Uh, we've got eight here, so this is a two. So you're a two, you're an eight. Uh, seven blocks up here. This can't be a seven. Let's remove it and place the seven there. One, five, four, six. Yeah, definitely looking better now. What is the missing digit over here? Is it a seven? I think it is. Uh, what's left to do? Four blocks down here. So here is our four. This must be our six. 
and so six blocks up here which means six is in those squares so this is the only six in the top row and this is the only five in that block now so you're a five and you're a five and you're a one and you look like a nine you must be so you're a nine and you're a seven and you're a seven you're a one uh, it says two is that right it is right two goes there so two is in that square uh, is that a six yes it is a six and the missing digit here is a one so you're a one and the last number here is four four blocks across there's our four there's our six so uh well much better the third time around but still not a particularly smooth game for me quite tricky in places okay uh i'm not sure if i've got time to play the uh, um, uh other game today i will try though this evening bye bye